Hi, my name is Brad Frieden. I'm a product marketing engineer at Keysight Technologies. This video is of a series of videos that will highlight the ways that Infinium oscilloscopes can be used in a variety of RF measurements. In this video, advanced RF pulse measurements will be taken on an RF pulse stream with an S-series Infinium oscilloscope. This series offers models from 500 MHz to 8 GHz and with a redesigned front end and time base combined with amplitude and phase correction on channel response, these oscilloscopes function as excellent RF receivers for a variety of applications. Higher end models offer bandwidths up to 63 GHz. We're going to take advantage of segmented memory in the oscilloscope working together with the VSA 89600 software. It uses the segmented memory to build very complex pulse analysis. And we're going to be using that in just a moment in looking at some specific measurements. Here we see the S-Series oscilloscope receiving an RF pulse train where individual pulses are experiencing a variety of widths as well as a variety of frequency offsets. The Pulse RF signal is being created by Signal Studio Pulse Builder. That's driving an arbitrary waveform generator to put out um, IQ uh, wideband modulation coming across through cables into the wideband IQ inputs of a PSG signal generator. The VSA version 19 pulse option allows for a wide range of measurements to be taken on RF pulses captured into oscilloscope segmented memory. From the VSA menu, we can go into pulse properties under time, and here I'm allowed to define what are those oscilloscope segments going to look like in terms of their length of time and how many of them we're going to use in our acquisitions. So I'm really setting up the oscilloscope from the VSA in the way that it captures those RF pulses and puts them into the segmented memory. Once I've set that up, now there's a whole host of measurements. Things like an FFT to show how the pulses are hopping around in frequency. Being able to see in a time view the eight segments of memory and the pulses captured into each one of those segments and then looking at how that pulse compares to the expected versus actual and that's plotted in yellow. And down at the bottom I'm looking plus or minus 100 megahertz how the expected frequency across the pulse expected compares to the actual measure. And again I plot in yellow what the difference is between the expected and actual. Then at the bottom for all of the different pulses in the segments I'm making measurements of things like what is the size of the pulse and what is its overshoot, what is its rise time and fall time, its width, the pulse repetition interval, so the space between these different signals is as I trigger and fill a segment of memory and then wait for the next pulse and trigger and put it into the next segment, I'm keeping track of that distance between pulses as well as the duty cycle and then these frequency measurements. We've seen how the S-Series oscilloscope with its 8 GHz bandwidth and very linear amplitude and phase response has enabled us to make very complex RF pulse measurements when coupled together with the VSA-19 pulse option to give us statistical analysis and full evaluation of an RF pulse train. If you'd like to get more information about this application, please go to the URL on your screen. And thanks for watching.